Hello guys, welcome to Selenium Web Driver tutorial series from rcvacademy.com. This is the brand new series on Selenium automation and in this series I'll be covering all about the Selenium Web Driver and how you can use Selenium Web Driver to automate any web application and I'll start from very basic and will start step by step and continue with the intermediate and advanced topics on Selenium Web Driver automation. Now, before we get into the deeper details of what uh, the Web Driver is, the architecture, let's first understand or have an introductory session about the Selenium. What exactly is Selenium? Okay, so Selenium, as you can see on my screen, I have prepared a slide. And I have prepared a couple of key points that I'll be covering in the introduction of Selenium. So Selenium is an open source test automation tool. It has been there for quite a long now, um, almost more than um, a decade now. And uh, it, it is an open source tool, so you don't have to pay anything to use it it's um, available freely it's uh, you know uh, and anything on the web can be automated using selenium and the key components in the selenium are the selenium web driver selenium id and selenium grid now this is as per the latest update or the latest version that is available so selenium web driver is um, a successor of the selenium rc so uh, previously there was selenium rc which has certain drawbacks so um, after uh, to to address those drawbacks the selenium web driver was launched so the key components now that are available are selenium web driver selenium id and grid now this tutorial series will be completely focusing on um, the selenium web driver uh, Selenium IDE is a record and playback tool which is very less uh, in use uh, because you won't get the flexibility of writing the test cases or customizing the test cases the way you want to in the IDE. It, it, is, it has the limited functionality and WebDriver gives you a lot of power um, of the programming languages that you can utilize and uh, customize the way you want your framework to work and the way you want your scripts to be designed and work so it web driver will be able to handle the complex um, cases that are actually uh, required in any of your project now selenium grid is used when you want to distribute your test cases across multiple machines and the browser so selenium grid is used for that purpose um, you know, when when you are distributing your test execution on multiple machines. Um, now the third point says it is exclusively for the web application testing, right? So it supports multiple browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, and Opera. So there are um, the uh, browser libraries or browser drivers that are available that are maintained independently with the uh, from the organizations for example um, chrome is maintained by google uh, firefox uh, gecko driver uh, ie um, is uh, there is an internet explorer driver so all these drivers are required so um, in order to interact with the actual browser so uh, selenium interacts or supports these browsers with the browser drivers corresponding browser drivers that are available in the pack uh, that we'll see how you can download and configure your the whole environment setup or the development environment setup so selenium supports multiple browsers so you write your script once and that same script can be run on multiple browser with um, with the help of different browser drivers and the fourth point is selenium supports multiple operating systems so you can configure selenium on the windows or mac os or linux and uh, if your if your your test case will you, you can execute on windows machine mac os or linux so uh, with with the selenium grid you can configure your uh, test cases to be executed on multiple platforms as well as multiple browsers so you can have that 
uh, that capability is provided in Selenium. Now, Selenium supports multiple programming languages. So when, when you start writing a script, you have the flexibility, flexibility to write your script or code or your test cases in any of the programming languages that are supported by Selenium. So like Java is very popular and most widely used programming language for Selenium automation. So in this tutorial, I'll be covering Selenium WebDriver with Java. Uh, Python is coming up. Uh, is very popular language now and it is also uh, supported by Selenium. Uh, other languages like C Sharp, JavaScript, Ruby. So if you are comfortable with one programming, the uh, programming language, you can easily pick up other uh, programming language. The core thing to remember here with Selenium automation is to understand how Selenium web driver works and how you write the script in one programming languages. Uh, language and then you can easily switch because uh, switch to other programming language because the core concept of Selenium web driver automation will remain exactly same. The only difference will be in the syntax of the another uh, the programming language that you will pick. So where will it will be very minimal and will be very easy to pick up. Um, uh, you know, once you understand Selenium with Java, you will be very easily be able to pick up Selenium uh, with Python as well or any other programming language. So this is a brief uh, introduction of Selenium. There is a lot um, that we can go ahead and uh, browse through on Google and see about what exactly Selenium, what is Selenium web driver. But these are the brief po key points that you need to understand before we actually go ahead and start to see uh, more details of the Selenium and understand the architecture All right so uh, let me go to the uh, selenium website and i want to explain a few more things on the selenium website so if you go to selenium.dev right so that's the official uh, selenium website and here you can see that selenium automates browsers right so anything on browser selenium will be able to automate so any browser testing um, or web application testing that you are doing you can do it with your Selenium, with Selenium. And then it gives you a lot of flexibility and power. So with web, web driver, you can do a lot of things on the browser. And here you can see that you have now Selenium web driver is one of the uh, key uh, tool. Then ID is for creating the scripts uh, in the record and pl uh, playback. So you, it's, it's basically, uh, available as a Chrome and Firefox add-on, right? And you can simply do record and playback. Very minimal use of Selenium ID and it won't help you in your complex project. So um, don't worry about Selenium ID at all. Uh, the core thing to remember and learn is Selenium web driver. If you want to create your robust browser-based regression automation suites and test, um, you want to scale and distribute scripts across multiple environments, then you want to use Selenium WebDriver because WebDriver gives you the ability to um, basically write complex scripts and uh, test cases that you will be actually needing in your projects. Now, Selenium Grid is to distribute and run tests on several machines and multiple environments, right? So, for example, if you want to run your test cases on the combination of different browsers and OS, so for example, Mac OS, uh, Safari on Mac, um, or uh, Chrome on Windows or Chrome on Linux, so those sort of combination are possible when you use Grid. So that that is where uh, that is when you you will use Grid in order to distribute your test cases across multiple machines. So we'll cover the selenium grid concept in the later part of this tutorial series so that's pretty much all about the introduction to selenium in the next tutorial i'll go through the architecture of selenium and uh, understanding the architecture is important because it will give you a complete picture how the selenium is being set up how it interacts with different browser uh, what all different components are there when you are going to set up your environment, develop an environment. So understanding that is really important. So we'll have a quick introduction to the Selenium architecture. I won't dig very deep into the architectural 
concepts but at least you should know the basics before we actually go ahead and start configuring our environment or development environment because once you understand the architecture it will be really helpful in understanding the development environment setup and uh, when you write your scripts you will know how exactly your scripts are interacting with the actual browser so uh, in the next tutorial we'll go through the architecture of selenium web drive and understand the key concepts of Selenium architecture. That's pretty much all about the Selenium introduction. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.